So, so what about also, Joshua Behe, correct me if I'm wrong, of course, because I'm not a specialist here. The, the point of genes that we can see and trace that the same gene in different animals, and they do different job. And they ah. are the same, they look the same, but they aren't different. So also, how does the Darwinists uh, like re reject or accept this point? Like, how do they deal with that? Well, uh, they they generally don't pay much attention to it. <laughs> um, they <laughs> whatever doesn't fit. Well, we'll deal with that later. Uh, when you you know uh, similar genes that do different things in uh, different organisms, they'll say, well, that gene was recruited to do something else. Mm. Well, just by using uh, words, uh, essentially try to paper over a situation that they did not expect. And sometimes uh, different genes do the same job in different species, mm. and they say pretty much the same thing. Well, maybe it just uh, was selected to be that way. So, um, yeah, you, you will never uh, get a Darwinist to say that uh, the theory looks looks like it's uh, not explaining something. And that's one of the problems because uh, it's so flexible that uh, it explains pretty much everything and the opposite uh, equally well. So uh, what a biologist does is go out and see what's in nature and then makes up the, the explanation post hoc. Mm -hmm. That's really amazing. So you, you, you're saying here, Dr. B, it's like a dogma. Sort of like the opposite of what, or the same thing that they attack religious people through. They say that religious people, they believe in dogma, they don't change their minds. So it's like the same now, according to Darwin's views. Yeah, that, that's right. Uh, yeah, that's, it's, it's kind of hard to take, to be called do, uh, dogmatist by a, a Darwinist, you know, because <laughs> cause they will, uh, you know, never give up their uh, belief that random processes and selection would uh, would uh, explain life. There's a there's a good story about that. There's a man named uh, John Maynard uh, Smith who was a prominent evolutionary biologist. He died about 20 years or so ago. And once he wrote in a uh, a paper, he says one thing that we know evolution could not produce is is a wheel with circular motion. He says, but now, look, we've discovered the bacterial flagellum, which is a rotary motor. He says, so now we know evolution can produce uh, even a wheel. <laughs> so that's, a, that's the classic, if it exists, it was produced by, by Darwinism. <laughs> <laughs> so either ways, it's expected by Darwinism. There's no way. That, that's right. That's yeah. right. 